three through San Giovanni, and I'm looking towards the Lord of God. There's two ways that St. John ends up giving a revelation and a description of God. He says that God is love and that God is light. When we look at that, we're able to see the illumination that God gives to this world through his light and through his love. As we look towards God, God illuminates our lives. He is that very essence and the presence of love that exists within us. As we welcome in the Spirit of God, we're welcoming in the love of God within our lives that we can share with others. We can take that love and that passion that we have for Christ and use it. And when we take that love, it becomes a lamp under the world. It says that He is the light of this world. When we take that love, it illuminates everything around us and allows for a brighter light, not only for us, but what we can literally do is like taking a candle, lighting it on fire, and then using that one candle to light the others that sit before the altar of God. We take that light within us and we light the lamp within others so that as they go forth and they want to profess that Jesus is Lord and give a blessing unto God, they use that light as part of their illumination. That light is the love of God and they share it. Instead of looking at it as lighting it, candle and light, it is lighting that love within another person's soul, within their heart. What you're doing is illuminating love for God and being able to pass it from one person to another so that eventually the entire square, the whole church and the whole world becomes illuminated with the light of God, with the love of Christ and it spreads the wildfire. God is that light and that love that illuminates the inner soul of man so that we have an opportunity to go forth in this day and to spread that fire, to spread that love, and to spread that light of God, to bring an illumination of greatness, glory, and gladness under Christ, and to be able to have an amazing opportunity every day to further, to bring more love and more of God's light into this world. So look at John, look at the way that he spoke it. God is love and God is light. We should be made in the images of our Creator and in the image of Christ and have that love come into us. Jesus said when He was asked, what was the greatest commandment? It was to love God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength, and to love God as yourself. Go forth in this world and take that love and share it with your neighbors. Show them the love of God, and when they receive that love, let them see God within you and within themselves. So share that love, share that light that is the good word of God, and share the gospel of Jesus Christ so that God can illuminate your life and the thousands of lives that you can touch. I'll see you.